Hello everybody, um, my name is Brantley Graham and I'm um, here today to talk to you about how can you increase diversity um, within tech teams. So essentially the area that my field is programmatic and in this area we use data and algorithms to display the right ad to the right user in the right place at the right time and that's essentially what we do. Um, point of registration our users will come to us and they will um, they'll give us key data they'll say their name their job title their location that they live in they'll even let us know their salary that they're currently on and the salary they want to be on and we have over 20 million unique users across our portfolio of websites so we've got total jobs and job site which are our generic job listings but then we've got cw jobs which is market leading tech site and then uh, Milk Round for Graduates and a whole host of other sites that are there that are uh, niche but market leading within their, their fields. So we've got a lot of data about our users before they've even clicked a button on our site. But when they actually come to our site and now they're viewing, searching or applying for roles, we're able to track the information of to where, which sites they've been on, uh, which pages, what jobs they're looking at, how long they're on there for, etc. So we get to get a real good flavour for the, the behavior that they're, that they're displaying. And then that gives us, um, when they leave our site, we're able to retarget them with roles that we know they're gonna likely to be interested in. So if they spent a lot of time viewing, searching and applying for specific tech roles, we can retarget them um, on the site that they move to. So that site could be Sky Sports News, the Daily Mail, the Guardian, Vogue. It doesn't matter what the site is, we're able to retarget them specifically with roles that are likely to be of interest and encourage them to apply. So one of the best things about working in the programmatic team is that for a long time now, our, our platform is a Google platform and that enables us to overlay Google's data with our first party data, which means we can target by gender. So we've done some really fantastic work in, in um, trying to get more women to work in tech and engineering roles, which previously um, have always been pretty hard to fill. And here's a recent example that we did for National Grid which was a campaign that worked fantastically well. Um, so, you know, that's really, really a good positive thing that we've been doing for a long time. But over the years, and particularly this year, we've noticed there's been a real increase in the demand for DNI and i um, solutions. If you look in the spring after the killing of George Floyd in America and the Amy Cooper event, businesses really started to look inwardly and come to us and say, look, CW Jobs, you guys are the experts. How can I target more people from BAME backgrounds to work in, in tech so they're they they're coming to us and you can see in these briefs you can see the word BAME that's an acronym for black Asian minority ethnic um, backgrounds and it's all about making um, you know making it more inclusive so we're getting briefs from a whole host of different um, types of businesses some public sector um, and here and that was the main thing that was happening so our response really is we've developed this product it's called the equality boost now, we didn't initially capture ethnicity data at the point when we're registering our, our users, but what we have done, and we've noticed that it's been a really strong correlation between where people live and their ethnicity. So we've captured the latest data from the national census, and we're able to look at the area and break it down into four categories, white, Asian, black, and mixed other. And what we're able to do is we're able to make sure that we would target the right person in the right place at the right time, which is the basis of programmatic. If you look, 15% of um, the UK population is from ethnic minority backgrounds. Now, with Equality Boost, we only serve to add to IP addresses within areas that are 30% fame background. Uh, and so this is double the national um, average. So it really does do what it says on the tin. It boosts equality for people from previously marginalized groups targeting areas 30 percent so you're looking at one in three candidates are going to be likely to be from a BAME background if you target in these areas if you look at london for example um it's the most diverse city in the uk we've got um out of the top 10 diverse areas in the uk eight of them are london boroughs um the two outside of that are leicester and slough we can reach a quarter of a million unique users that we are know are in market actively searching, looking, viewing, searching, and applying for jobs. Um, 
if we were doing a campaign in say the West Midlands, Birmingham, we can reach 30,000 unique users. And it's all about to a postcode level where we can find densely populated areas from people from Bain backgrounds. Now, um, if we're serving an ad campaign in West Midlands, we wouldn't waste our impressions serving them in Tamworth or Sutton Coalfield because the data shows us that those areas are 98% white British, 2% white other. We will keep our focus down to these specific areas. So we're talking about Aston, um, Edgebaston, Winston Green, Nichelles, Perry Bar. These are the areas that in Birmingham that we would target to ensure that the, the you can reach somebody who's more likely to see the ad from um, from, from Bain backgrounds and, and, and we can really cut through within those communities. So nationally, we can reach over a half a million unit users across um, these areas, right down from Brighton to North East Lincolnshire to Liverpool, Leicester, Manchester, Leeds. Um, we, we have the capability to really use our geolocation. So that's the geolocation element to the quality boost. But there's also a second level of, of targeting that we do. I mentioned before our platform is a Google platform. And within that, we can use contextualized keywords to target our users. And there's lots, many keywords that correlate highly with ethnicity. So for example, if somebody's spending time on Google looking for a Bollywood movie or a Nollywood film, then we can retarget them. If they are um, looking for, say, Afro hair products or black beauty products, then we will make sure that we retarget them because this correlates highly with their ethnicity. So there's a good chance that we're reaching the audience we want to reach. We've added things like um, the religious holidays. So Eid, Ramadan, Diwali. If somebody's looking for Asian wedding dress or, Ni or Nigerian, um, Nigerian weddings, we can retarget them. We make a point specifically. So it's really getting down and noticing what, um, what we can do to, to target the right audience in the right place at the right time. So I mentioned that it's all about retargeting onto third party sites. We've taken steps to make sure our third party sites are more inclusive than ever before. We've added sites that we didn't have previously, such as we added the um, sections of the national press. The Guardian has a really magnificent um, society section. We've got the um, the Independent has a BAME section. We've added that. Um, the Metro has a BAME section. We've added that too. So we can reach users on in the areas where we know they're likely to be. Also, we've added specialist sites like um, The Voice, a newspaper, Britain's biggest black newspaper. We've got Times of India, um, Asia Weekly. Uh, we've had listed a whole list of LGBT sites as well, which are directly relevant. So we've made our equality boost as inclusive as possible. And we're always looking to, um, to do more. So it's all about developing that. So these are the main features uh, of equality boost. You're really actually buying when you buy a quality boost is you're buying the ability to put in place your diversity and inclusion policy really put your words into practice a lot of companies say oh yeah we're an inclusive company you know um but what are you actually doing it's okay to say it but unless you're taking action what um are you really so a quality boost allows you to take action and to really make meaningful change within your organization so I've spoken at length about the data and what we're using to target people um, from, from main backgrounds. It's really important. I can't stress how important it is to use the right creatives to get your key message across. It really needs to resonate within the community and so that you can say, look, come and work at our business. We are an inclusive um, company. We welcome people who look like you. Come on board and apply now. So that's it from me. Um, do feel free to reach out if you have any other questions or queries on the equality boost and um, how, how we can reach you. My details are down on the screen. So um, get in touch and look forward to speaking with you.